Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Milly, and if you're my returning subscriber, hey! <laughs> In my last video, somebody was correcting my English. Guys, I'm not an English-speaking person, yes. In my country, Uganda, we speak English, but that's not like my mother tongue. So, and I speak Danish now, so sometimes I do forget words. So, yeah. But anyways, back to the video. Yes, but in today's video, as it says, this is uh, 10 things I'm not, I'm not buying in 2024. Or maybe I'm not going to say I'm not buying, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be spending so much money on these things, all right? And number one, jeans. I have so many, many jeans, guys like because when I, I have lost weight when i put on weight i have bought jeans that are a little bit slightly a little bit bigger and i still have those uh, jeans that I, I i was wearing before i lost weight so i have so many many jeans i don't need any more jeans generally i have so many many clothes i have so many shoes i have so many coats i used to be such a fashionista but i'm a nurse now and as a nurse we are wearing uniform every day so how when am i going to be wearing all these clothes and i told yeah next time he sees me buying jeans he should pull me away but i already bought three i think three pair of jeans at an outlet because they were cheap and they sat very good on me but oh lord i'm promising myself not to buy any more jeans in 2024 or probably ever again i have enough jeans to wear yes number two is plants i have so many many plants i love plants i love my house looking like a jungle i really love plants i'm a good plant mama but sometimes i've realized how plants there can be overwhelming you know sometimes i have to use two hours to water my plants and uh, to check them on check them if they are sick and you know take care of them and i think my biggest issue and I think other plant mama's biggest issue, we like making baby plants, you know, you have a plant and then you buy it and then you buy a plant and then you divide it and then you make babies and then these babies have to be taken care of. Sometimes I have like a, one plant and then make four babies. I'm like, oh, I might sell them, I might give them away. And then I end up feeling overwhelmed and plants are expensive. So I'm only, I think I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy plants, but if I buy plants, it's going to be like those exotic plants, um, rare plants, but also it's going to be those rare plants that i can take care in my house in my environment because again i have lost so many plants because i bought plants that cannot be in my environment alocasias i got a lot of alocasias those i, I don't i think i have two alocasias and the two ones i have i think i have three maybe four the ones remaining that the kind of easy ones I'm, I'm surprised about one of them which seemed like a very difficult but it's surviving i've made like five babies out of it and it's still surviving but yes plants um i'm going to be decluttering actually yes i think probably i'll make another video decluttering my plants because i don't need so many plants they excuse me plants all over there i'm going to be decluttering my plants yes because also like if, if you bring in plants that um um rare plants and and they, they live in special environments then you have to make this environment for them which means spending more money you know like you see these girls buying these ikea cabinets and and grow lights and and, and um humidifiers and things like that again spending more money on these plants if i'm making money on these plants yes but these plants are just for for me to look at and enjoy so no i'm cutting out on plants or buying only rare plants that can be in my home number three plant containers yes like i said i already have so many plants which means i have so many plant containers i don't need any more plant containers and i'm a hoarder like many plant mamas you know the black the, the black plastic containers the plants come in i always keep those i have so many though of those i'm going to be decluttering all of those and throwing throwing them away i don't need to keep any more we ha I have so many things i have so many things yan doesn't have so many things i have so many things and i'm decluttering that i already have so many pots for my plants i don't need any more plants uh, sorry any more containers yes a uh, home decor and accessories mostly vases candle holders and all kinds of decors i have so many i have so many uh, decor uh, are they called jugs of vases i have so many vases i bought the thrifted ones new ones and uh, i have so many 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 different colors and all that and uh no i'm not buying any more vases because i have enough you know how, how many times can you change vases i'm not buying any more pillow covers and if i decide to buy they're going to be like on sale but again buying on sale is like you're still spending money so but i think i'll 
probably not say I'm not going to buy pillow covers because I think I like it. it's like pillow covers you're gonna look at them year after year after year all the time so sometimes it's nice to change but I'm not going to be like overdoing it like I've been doing I'm cutting out on buying pillow covers yes unhealthy snacks and junks because uh, for me I have a problem if I open a bag of chips I have to eat it if I open a bag of, uh, of peanuts I have to eat it I, a chocolate I have to eat I cannot stop myself so it's not, we're already doing that. We we don't buy this, but sometimes Jan buys and, and then we open a bag and then we eat all of it. We're not buying this kind of things. We are going to be healthy in 2024. And in order to be healthy, if you don't have it in the house, you don't have to eat it. For me, if I don't have chocolate, I don't go buy chocolate. Uh, maybe I buy it when I'm in the shop, but I don't sit here and think like, wow, I need a chocolate and go and buy it. Or I need chips and I go and buy it. No, I don't do that. So out of sight, out of mind, out of my mouth <laughs> yes um another thing is a uh, holiday decor i think like christmas halloween and stuff like that already i think as some of you have seen my video for this year for the christmas decor it has been very very um, simple it is very very minimalistic i can say i'm not a minimalist person but my christmas decor this year was very very simple and that's how it's going to be I'm not buying any more Christmas decor. The ones we have already are very fine. It's enough. I have enough Christmas uh, things for my Christmas tree. So there's no need for me to buy any more things because most Christmas uh, decor things means you need space to keep these things for a whole year. Just standing there. And I don't want to throw things out and be buying every year. So no more Christmas decors. And then number six, jewels and accessories. I have so many belts. I have so many sunglasses. I have so many earrings. I have so many necklaces. I have so many headscarves. I don't need any more. Like I said, I'm a nurse. We are not allowed to wear. We are not allowed to wear like big earrings. We're not allowed to wear necklaces. We're not allowed to wear rings. I have my engagement ring on and I have my other ring on when the time we get married i have my ring on um but i don't think i'm buying i have so many hats you know winter hats so many many accessories i have i'm not going to be buying any more accessories for me all right a robot vacuum cleaner i don't know why i put that in but i think we bought a robot vacuum cleaner and i think if, if, the, if the one we have, we have breaks down i don't think we're going to buy that again because i think i just found out like this um, this vacuum cleaner is very good if you don't have so many things on the floor but for us we have to remove a lot of things and, and and put them away in order for it to come around and i just feel like that takes even more time you know so i think i decided like we have a normal vacuum cleaner and we have we're gonna have two and then when we're going to vacuum clean Jan can start in another part of the house I can start in another part of house and I think that will go very quickly and um, we do like the vacuum cleaner sometimes we use it like this if you're going somewhere for maybe two hours we put everything away and then it can vacuum clean but you have to put these things back you know I always feel like it takes time so when our vacuum cleaner our, our uh, robot vacuum cleaner breaks down we are not buying a one again we, we actually happy with our robot say uh, grass cutter is it called grass molar i don't know what it's called in english please don't come for me and i'm not an english speaking person but that we are very very happy with but this one in the house mm, no yes and number nine handbags i have so many many handbags and i always end up carrying one bag the bag i always carry is my mark jacobs bag my Jacob, I don't know about their bags these days, but they make really, really good bags. I have had this one black bag. I've carried that bag on holiday. I've taken it to Uganda. I've taken it to other places on holiday. As I put them on the floor, you look at that bag, you cannot know it's over, I think, 15 years. The bag really, really looks, the leather is good. It, mm, compared to some of the newer bags I have that are very, very expensive, easily get scratched. I have to baby them. No. And I bought one bag in, uh, I thrifted another bag. This bag I always walk around when we're going out for a walk. I always carrying this bag. So it's like I'm using these bags and all the other expensive bags. They're just sitting there looking at me. I'm actually going to sell some of them. And I keep just one nice black evening bag and maybe one beige bag for this summer. And that's it. I don't need all these bags. And again, I'm a nurse. When am I going to be wearing all these things? Number 10, high heels. <laughs> 
one reason I'm not going to be buying high heels again because yes, I'm a nurse. I'm not going to be going in offices and wearing all these high heels. Another thing, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. My back hurts. I want to be comfortable. And I live in a country where people are so casual, you know, like uh, Danish people are so casual. So most of the time you're going to look like, uh, yeah, you're out of place but i had i already have high heels i'll keep some of those i might sell some of them but i'm going to be buying beautiful if i have to buy going buy beautiful comfortable shoes right now i want to be comfortable this is you see even younger girls yeah, yeah the, the younger generation they go in clubs wearing their almost uh, sports shoes you know uh, they, they're not up in high heels and everything so protecting my back I'm going to be not buying any more high heels. I have high heels, I have high heels. If we're going out for dinner, I'll have that, but I'm not going to be investing in buying more pairs of high heels. So guys, these are some of the things. I have more things I don't want to buy, but these are the 10 things I'm not going to buy, be buying in 2024. And why I'm not doing this? Because I want to be financially smart. Can you say that? I want to save my money and not be just waiting, wasting my money on on a lot of things i'm not i'm never gonna be such a minimalistic i don't think i can be that but i'm trying to get rid of things i'm trying to have a few things which actually is really, really healthy for you all right guys i hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more videos like this all right Mwah. bye